Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Routine episode. My name is Vaughn, the founder of Ballroom Mastery. I'm joined today with Brittany, how are you? I'm great. Oh, she's ready. We are going to quick rhythm and then quick step the heck out of your feet and legs. Okay, so before we begin, please, if you love these videos and you like what we're doing, please subscribe, share the video with your friends and like and comment below. Now, the other important part about today's lesson that will really, really help you get a leg up and a foot up puns intended, I'm such a dad, like this, such bad dad jokes, but anyway, you, you get the, the picture, is the slow rhythm, right? The slow rhythm is the precursor to the quick rhythm. They're basically the same. The difference is when we start to hear quick step music, the first thing that's obvious, well, what's the first thing that's obvious? It's the speed, right? Speed of the music, the tempo is faster. So because it's faster, people often then take bigger and bigger steps. And what I'll encourage you to do today is to actually take even smaller steps than what you were doing in the slow rhythm. Okay, and the reason for that is when you're first learning to dance and you're a newbie dancer, you might find when you go to take your steps uh, that the normal size for you is like this, okay? And so we need to learn to just calm it down because we're not swinging our legs like we do in the actual quick step. We're simply walking very fancily. That's the way to think of quick rhythm. But we're doing it to a higher tempo. So because of that, we wanna make sure that we can um, basically create a, a different type of rhythm as we dance. And so the other thing that's important between the slow rhythm and the quick rhythm is the heel pivot. Now I'll give a quick introduction to that here. So when you watch the demonstrations and the teaching aspect, you, you actually understand what's going on. So for the heel pivot, you go back on your right foot, gentlemen, okay, on the toe. Ready, you try it too. So ladies, you can learn this one, All right? Back on the toe, put the heel down, pull the left foot in completely closed, but lift it up just for a moment so there's no weight on it. Now as you close, you create your turn. So the left foot has no weight in it at the end so you can step out with it. So that's the heel pivot. If I do it this way, I go back, close, turn, and then step forward again. And that's the biggest difference with the quick rhythm. We do that on the backward half, so it's not like a slow rhythm sped up, it's actually a different figure. Now with that as well, we also do the rock turns, which are a precursor for the quick step you're about to do as well. In the quick step, we turn the corner with something called a natural pivot turn. And that's, it might sound complicated, but these are the names you need to learn when you first start. Uh, and essentially, it's the way we get around the corner in both dances. One is a rock turn, and one is a pivot turn. And it's an easy way to get around and keep dancing, okay? So, with that in mind, let's kick in straight away to the quick rhythm, followed by the quick step. Here we go. Quick rhythm figures and steps, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you tuned in for our slow rhythm episode, this is gonna be right up your alley. If you haven't watched it, make sure you jump on in. This will be a little bit more up-tempo, but basically the same pattern, except you need to pay attention to the end. Ready? So we go. From the beginning, here's our figures and steps. We have our two walks. Walk, walk, side, close. And on the backward half, we create a heel pivot. So I'll go back on my left foot. Ladies, do the same steps. But gentlemen, you close your left foot to your right foot completely together, keeping the left foot off the floor and making sure that you're ready to step forward again. So I go walk, walk, side, close, then walk, walk, close, and heel, pivot. Now I'm ready to do my promenade walks and down the room, down the room, side, close, and again, down the room, down the room, side, close. Now with my left foot, ladies, right foot, we can commence the rock turns, which is a nice preamble to doing some quick step turns later on. So we'll go walk, walk, side together, and then rock, rock, side and close. And again, rock, rock, side and close. And one more, rock, 
rock, side and close. And now walk back, step and then side together, ready to dance along a new line of dance. Okay, so with that in mind, let's do this again, coming back towards you. And with the left foot gentlemen, right foot ladies, we will go. Walk, walk, side together, and then walk, walk, heel pivot. And then again, walk, walk, side together, and again, walk, walk, heel pivot. Now promenade, down the room, down the room, side close, and again, down the room, down the room, side close. Now into the rock turns, we go. Walk, walk, side together, rock, rock, side together, and again, rock, rock, side together, last one, rock, rock, side and close. And now, walk, walk, side together. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the timing for the quick rhythm. Okay, so here we go. Left foot gentlemen, right foot ladies, five, six, seven, eight. Slow, slow, quick, quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, quick. Let's try the quick rhythm timing at home. Here we go. And five, six, seven, eight. Slow, slow, quick, quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, quick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to take the quick rhythm and turn it into the quick step. All right, very popular dance. I've certainly found the quick rhythm bridges beautifully to the quick step when you understand how to do the first dance and now we move it into the actual proper footwork and foot positions of the quick step. Now, pay attention because as we do this, it gets a little bit more challenging, but I believe you can do it. So here we go, left foot gentlemen, right foot ladies, and we start with the preparation step going forward, ladies back, into a quarter turn to right. So we go preparation step, forward, up, up, then down. That's the quarter turn to right. And now we go into the quarter turn to left, the little unknown quarter turn to left, by the way. So it is essentially a heel pivot, what we did in the quick rhythm. So we go four, backward, side, heel pivot, and the lady comes around. And now we exit that step going forward. Now we can commence the quarter turn to right again. So we step forward on the right foot, ladies back on the left. Step, side, close, and then back. And now at the end of those quarter turn combinations, we can now do the progressive chasse. So we go back, up on the toes, and lower, and then stepping outside our partner, we're now gonna create the natural pivot turn, which is an easy way to get around the corner. Okay, so now I've turned the corner, we can then step into the quarter turn to right again immediately. So I've got my right foot, ladies have the left foot, we can go again, side close back, and then the quarter turn to left, close the feet for a heel pivot, ladies come around, and exit the step. All right, now we've done that, let's come back to you one more time. So here we go, and I'll say the figures as we dance it a bit more fluidly. So we go, preparation step, quarter turn to the right, quarter turn to the left, then a quarter turn to the right again, a progressive chasse, 
and then a natural pivot turn into a quarter turn to the right again and then a quarter turn to the left to finish it off. How you doing out there? Are you ready? We're gonna do the timing for the quick step. Here we go. And so take hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. 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 Quick, quick, slow. All right, now keep following me at home. We're going to do it again, coming back towards you. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, slow. Quick, quick, slow, 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 slow. Quick, quick, slow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in for the quick rhythm and the quick step. So in order, what have you done? You've gone from a slow rhythm to a quick rhythm to a quick step. And so you can see how they build up, but now we get differences, right? So there's a difference between the slow rhythm, the quick rhythm and the quick step. So obviously the first thing is the tempo, right? So quick step is faster music. And if you can't handle the quick step, get out of the kitchen, right? What's the saying? If you can't handle it, get out of the kitchen. Yeah, if you can't handle the dancing, get out of the dance studio. But you should find that the basic quick step is much uh, easier to grasp once you've practiced it a few times, obviously, but you also focus on the way that we use our feet. So if you were to ask me, hey Vaught, what is the biggest difference between the quick rhythm and the quick step? Well, let me show you. So if I was dancing with Brittany, hopefully I am, we'll do our quick rhythm. All right, so watch. I want to keep it cool. Wa da e um bum bum ba dun dun. Right, now if I wanted to give my quick step full gas, then I would take it with a bit more swinging action in the beginning. I'd be going boom, boom, e un dun da. You can see there's a bit more rise and fall. So the movements are very different, and that's what you end up learning through the channel that I've produced here on learning how to create swing and the technical aspects of ballroom dancing are actually separate videos where I'll talk to you about how to use your feet, how to use your legs, specific to the dancers. So if you're interested in further development, check out the actual technique videos that I've created. For this le lesson today and what we're doing, we're actually just repeating the pattern, trying to get it to timing, trying to get it with a partner and to fix it. If you can get it to music, we're winning, all right? Now from there, you'll need technique to make it better, more comfortable, have better balance and to be proud of, all right? So with that being said, thank you, Brittany, for dancing today. And thank you at home for tuning in. Make sure you dance on all over the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the share and leave a comment. I'd love to know if you like this episode today and also what you wanna know a little bit more about. <laughs>